guys, today I'm going to talk about why all the Magic the Gathering YouTubers, uh, Tolarian, Mana Source, I know he's talked about it, uh, Darium has a very, I think his Pokemon channel is as big as his Magic channel now, uh, MTG Headquarters, why everyone is moving on to Pokemon instead of Magic the Gathering, and so I've been a very big proponent of new channels existing in Magic the Gathering. However, one of the reasons that um, people are leaving, and then some YouTubers, Rants is leaving, um, really good dude, is the Magic Gathering is not fundamentally supportive of financially. Meaning, unless you're a very large channel, or unless you have something to sell, you are not going to make it financially. You're going to spend more money on Magic Gathering YouTube than you make. And that's why Rants is quitting because you bleed money on this channel all the time. I'm pretty sure unless you are getting a lot of Patreon donations and a lot of uh, YouTube revenue, that you hit the point where you're just like, this is not really worth my time and it's really not worth my money, especially if you're not enjoying it anymore. And the reason to go into Pokemon is there's this Pokemon YouTuber called More Ali, and he's not anything special. Tolarian makes videos way better than this dude. And this dude just makes clickbait video after clickbait video. And he has 2.5 million subscribers from like six months ago. Not even six months ago. How long has Pokemon Go been now? Like uh, four months ago. And every Pokemon Go channel, which is all new, they did not exist four months ago because the game did not exist and wasn't that popular. They all have like half a million subscribers. The same with Yu-Gi-Oh! And when Yu-Gi-Oh! was extremely popular, you can make like 10 videos about nonsense and you would have 20,000 subscribers. And Magic the Gathering, getting subscribers is extraordinarily difficult when you compare it to Pokemon. Pokemon, you, you just open you know whatever you want and you get like a ton of subscribers. That's just how it works. There's way more people interested in Pokemon, especially now, especially now that Sun and Moon are going to come out. Pokemon Go is still semi-popular and there's just way, way more people interested in Pokemon and willing to subscribe and watch those videos than there are of Magic of the Gathering. Magic of the Gathering's main channel, I think, is like 200, 300,000 subscribers. What? Like, that is nothing compared to something like League of Legends or Pokemon itself. So when you talk about um, these channels, these Magic the Gathering channels who are diversifying into Pokemon, it's a very logical reason. It's easier to get subscribers, easier to get views, and easier to generate profit. So most people who make Magic YouTubers, uh, I would say everyone under 25,000, even 30,000, they don't have anything to sell and they lose money making these videos. This camera I'm recording on is a thousand dollar camera. There's no way I've made a thousand dollars from Magic the Gathering YouTube. And you might be like, oh, what about the Patreon donations? Like I feed it right back into it. And some months I, I lose money. And I used to write this letter to the Patreons where I calculate how much money I lost every month. And it was so depressing that I just stopped writing this email. I was like, no, no more emails about like how much money I've lost from Patreon. Because that's not why I do Patreon. I do Patreon because it makes me feel like I'm a small channel, which is exactly what I wanted. So the reason that Magic YouTubers are leaving for Pokemon or have made Pokemon channels, I know Darium has one, uh, MTG Headquarters has one, Tolarium makes uh, Pokemon product reviews now, and Mana Source, I know he's been very, he's talked about it before. And then uh, Absolute Magic has one, a Pokemon channel, like, is strictly because it is easier to get subscribers on Pokemon because there's way more of them. Again, that one more Ali, like in four or five months, he has 2.5 million subscribers. That's unheard of in Magic the Gathering. I don't know like what scenario would cause someone to have even more than a, you know, a million subscribers in Magic the Gathering. Could that even be possible? Maybe like a movie, but like the movie would have to be like a Twilight movie with like multiple sagas and uh, be very good. So yeah, I mean like pretty crazy. I'm probably gonna make a Pokemon Go channel sometime like at the beginning of next year. 
Uh, but don't worry guys, I'm still going to be here because I like you guys a ton. And that's the only way I, the only reason I kind of stick around is I like the community. I like, I should be more um, specific. I like my community on my channel. Like, do I love the MTG Finance community? Nah. Do I love Reddit? No. Do I like, um, you know, inter do I even interact with other YouTubers all the time? Honestly, no. Like, uh, I try to be as interactive as I can, but I, my job is very busy and I make all my videos in one go. Hence the same t-shirt. I don't make videos every day. I make all my videos on literally like two hours and then up it goes online. Anyway, bye guys.